Do you guys want plain pancakes or chocolate chip? We've been married for 13 years with three, four, four kids? Four kids. And yeah, a lot of definitely chaos. Four. <laughs> we have one big old car for the family and one little car for the marriage. Yeah, he told me that and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because it drives fast. <laughs> I am the co-founder of a social media agency here in Seattle. We picked our brands, we just called them up and said, this is what we can do for you. And for some reason, they were willing to hire us. Hey, hey how are you? At one, you'll pitch it. It's a very interesting feeling when you have a holiday party and spouses and boyfriends and girlfriends come. You see all of these people's lives and you realize, wow, not only are we providing for these 50 people, but we're also providing for all these others in their lives and their children. And it has two feelings. One, this sense of fulfillment, like, wow, we've really created something that's supporting folks. But at the same time, you also feel this sinking feeling, which is, we better not mess this up. I had this really great childhood growing up in Southern California where everyone is middle class and upper class and I didn't have a lot of exposure to poverty. But the most impactful thing for me was when I went to serve my mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I spent time in Newark, Patterson, and I began to see American poverty for the first time in my life. And so I came from that not feeling guilty, but feeling like I needed to do something different. I became heavily involved in microcredit banking, which became a huge force in my life and, and still is. My wife and I moved to Central America. We lived in Guatemala together, where I was working and writing. We spent time in Honduras and in Mexico. I ended up getting a fellowship and we moved to Bangladesh. I did my Fulbright with Professor Muhammad Yunus. In the developing world, access to credit can change an individual's life. A poor woman can make a little bit of money and send her daughter to school, and that daughter can go on to college. Then she can have children, can have greater educational opportunities, and a greater vision of what they can become. Growing up in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I was taught that everyone is a child of God. No matter who they are, what they believe, how they act, my job isn't to judge, my job is to love them and then figure out what I'm supposed to do to help them. Now, I'm a guy who does social media, but at the same time, I feel a need to improve the state of the world, and that world can be very small. It doesn't have to be the world in the grandest sense. It can be a very small sphere of influence, but if I can do something that makes someone's life just a little bit better, it makes me feel more whole. The castle. I'm a husband, I'm a father to a girl and three crazy boys. I hire people who tweet for a living. My name is Dave Hanley, and I'm a Mormon.